friends, I'm going to go get a new wheelchair today, or at least look at some new wheelchairs. So I thought maybe you could get ready with me and then follow me around for the day. Be sort of like a day in the life vlog or something like that. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, then just keep watching. Okay, I've already washed, primed, moisturized my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my, actually I'm going to put my hair up, get it out of my, get it out of the way, and then I'll do my foundation. My very favorite, as you know, Lancome Under Eye Setting, or I'm sorry, what's it called? <laughs> Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. It's waterproof. It's my favorite. Okay, and to make things extra interesting for this video, I'm going to try out and um, do a wear test on the Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio Black Liquid Liner. I'll link it below. It has a felt tip, um, and it's really, it comes to a really sharp point, so hopefully this will be a good one. I am not good at winged liner, so we're just going to do a nice little line right on top of the Right on, right on top of the lash line. Okay, so I'll be honest, on that eye, it went on kind of patchy, it wasn't totally opaque. Um, I had to go over it a couple of times in certain places, but let me shake it up a little bit and see what happens on the other eye. Okay, that was better. Um, what I'm going to say about this, like first impressions, it takes a couple of times going over the same line to get a completely opaque line. Um, and I think that, I don't know, I think maybe I'm struggling because the tip is so long and so pointed that it kind of bends a little too much on you when you try to put it on your eyelid. Um, so anyway, that's my very first impression on this. So let's see how it wears through the day. And you already know what bronzer I'm going to use. The Perfect Tan Mineral Bronzer from Jouer, right here. For blush, I'm going to use Nude Pop from the Clinique Cheek Pop line. For lips, I'm for lips, I'm going to use my um, ColourPop Lippy Stick in Bound. Okay, here's our finished look. I'm going to get dressed and then take you guys with me. So what do you know, I'm waiting for my husband. He is the one running late this time. Um, I thought I'd show you guys how I get around um, at home. I call them my stubby legs. They make me about four feet tall. So let me switch the camera around. I'll take a picture. appointment I couldn't really vlog while I was in there um, just a lot of testing out different types of chairs and doing measurements so um, what I'm getting is like a custom wheelchair so they need to know like the certain height that I want and what kind of seat I want and so it was just a lot of like making decisions and lots of choices but um, 
I took a few pictures that I'll add in here and I also wanted to update you on this darn eyeliner. I'm not that impressed. Look how it's wearing off and I've only had it on for like three hours. Uh, first check-in of the day, it's been on, it's 12.30 and I put it on around 9.30 so we will see how this does as the day continues. Okay, just checking in again. It's about 4 o'clock and I've had this eyeliner on since 9.30, so that's like six and a half hours or something like that. Um, I can't think. Mom brain. Okay, my makeup today is a hot mess. It looks horrible. Anyway, the liner. It's bad. It's really bad, you guys. Um, I'll give you my, I will give you my final thoughts at the very end of this video, but it is, it is wearing off. It's worn off completely on the inside of my eye. Um, final check-in of the day, it's about 7 o'clock, and I put this on at 9.30 this morning, so that's about nine and a half hours. Um, okay, so let's first actually, let's do an update on the wheelchair in case any of you are here for that. So, um, it's ordered. I got a custom wheelchair. I'm super excited about that because before I was just using like a transfer chair, which I posted um, a clip of. So you kind of got an idea of what I was working with and then now what I'm hoping to get. I will let you guys know when that comes in. They said it'll be about six to eight weeks. Now let's talk eyeliner. This is, this is totally a dud, you guys. Don't even bother, don't even bother. So I got it thinking, well, I usually like Maybelline products and I like that it has the really pointed felt tip and I thought, what, how bad can it be? It is really bad. So um, it has transferred. I cleaned it up a little bit because I had to go out in public and I literally looked like a raccoon. But um, it had transferred to my eyelid. So on both, on both eyes, it's transferred. Um, it's also worn off completely on the inside of my eye on both sides. Then also, it is patchy. So I put it on and it was not opaque. So I did a few coats of it or a couple lines. I went over it a couple of times when I applied it, which you saw. And then um, now it's like, I didn't even do that. It's like patchy in certain places. It's totally worn off. It's just a uh, total dud. Don't bother, it's yucky. Um, it'll probably just be going in the garbage. Anyway, so that's my, those are my thoughts on this. Don't bother. Like I said before, um, I did notice today that Fancy That with Candace, she also posted about this Maybelline liner. So I'm going to link her video below so you can see what she thinks as well. But, um, we're kind of on the same page. So anyway, that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed following me around a little bit. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!